Hey there guys, and welcome back to more Donkey Kong Country 3. I'm Flash Fleur, and I'm Yumi the Yoshi Tamer. And we are going into Swanky Sideshow today. Yeah, like we do in every world. Yeah, we need to. And even though we don't really need to, because look at our coins. Yeah, look at our coins. But we're going to race to 25 since we did head-to-head -head last time. Yeah, we do this every time. And... If a fool like you can beat me, I'll eat my hat. And we already must have beaten him, because he doesn't have a hat. He must have already eaten it. Oh, uh, yeah. He should have. I mean, come on. How would Cranky look with a hat? Okay, you be the play-by-play -play commentator. I'll be the color commentator. And Dixie's well, this is one. This is a great matchup today. Head, but not this just one behind, but tie, now it's tie. These two great Titans lead, meet together again, in the same fair. Lead, it is amazing one point that lead. they can actually um, come together yes. in the Dixie's same county fair and, and see each lead. other and this know that they need Tricky, to have Dixie a match and eat pears like, sure. forever as as and born. cotton candy and, <laughs> and they're just Dixie's throwing go all, all over the, the, the place oh, so awesome. and that Chinese but doll this, I know, I know, Chrissy that's just this the most intense awesome. match ever okay. uh, the, oh no, like look at this oh no, what's going on <laughs> Turns out I was the actual winner. Yeah, right. That hit. It should have counted. And now he's gonna throw bananas in front. That one was too close to call. Yeah, right. But I reckon <laughs> you should have won. Yes, I should have. You won these great prizes. Those are great. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Now that we're done with that little rant, we're going to ropey rumpus. Yeah, we actually lost a coin during that. And nice mountain levels again. Yeah, blue mountains, and they look like blue mountains anyway. I don't really know. With ropes. And that Buzz was trying to hide those banana bunches, but he didn't do good enough. Yeah, you can't just put them behind each other, especially when Dixie can see this world in 3D. Yeah, that he forgot work. that. He forgot. He was hoping that the mystical player out there that somehow controls everything won't <laughs> see it. But... Yeah, but we saw through Dixie's eyes, and it was 3D. Yeah. This game would have been amazing in 3D. Uh, probably. So anyway, there's a little secret over there that we have got to figure out yet. And, um, there are lots of these buzzes. The red buzzes you cannot take care of unless with that TNT barrel, but that is not its main purpose. So Dixie's just gonna have to sit out while Kitty holds it in front, jumps and down there. jumps and blows himself up into the side of a wall. There's the first bonus. We've got to find that coin. And this bonus took me quite a few tries. This is a very, very hard bonus, I've got to admit. With Kitty, yeah, especially. But we got 61 now. So we are at really doing good. We are going on this level. We got the first bonus barrel, and... He wants me to lead. Yeah, because uh, Dixie is usually the better player for rope levels. I guess she's small and quick. It helps. Yeah, especially with all the buzzes all around. So we got to jump through, not hoops, but buzzes. They're all over this place. And you can drop oh, down, down there. there. And for some reason, Rare is very merciful. They put a ton of uh, fire barrels back up there so you can jump back up anytime you fall. I don't know why they did that though. And there's a lot of places where you think there might be land and then you find out there isn't. Yeah, but Rare <laughs> would usually say, Troll, live with it. Yeah, I guess. Ow! And don't try that. It's just a banana bunch, people. Well, it could have helped with lives on the whole, but oh well. Kitty's going at this like a pro. He looks like he's having a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and he's <coughs> skipping that one banana. You don't need that. Yeah, man. There's the star barrel and Dixie. Here we go. Dixie. We're back on track. Oh, until that happened. Because Kitty just can't resist the red bees. I'm trying to figure out where there should be another special thing like a bonus or a coin but they do this again they put the fire barrel up there so you can get up there if you need to it's like rare turn into a grandma all of a sudden <laughs> rare the grandma. lead <laughs> rare grandma <laughs> the first the director of rare became a grandma she's just like oh we need to put all these barrels here just in case my grandkid ever plays this game can you imagine the director of rare or grandma no okay <laughs> there's an invisible banana bunch over here how do i know because of that right there and there should be something down here. But look, it just takes you back to the beginning. I could have gone for that barrel, but I didn't. Yeah, it's kind of just, the whole world is like that. So maybe they're, oh, they were too close. <laughs> that probably scared lots of people. <laughs> you doing that, that was, 
Anyway, we're back into the ropey rumpus. We're gonna do this no matter how long it takes. We'll just cut yeah. to the part. Wait where for them to go time. around first. Yeah, just do like go all this into the beat. <laughs> okay, that we had 64 at that point, then we got 70. Oh yes, yeah, 64. Drop right here is where you need to. The coin will smash you into the rocks. Out. Okay, <laughs> take that there. Ooh. 30 DK coins. 30 out of 40. Three fourths done. Very good. That is very good. That is but, very good. <laughs> <laughs> but don't get fooled by those buzzes patterns. We are on a roll today, getting all the letters even. Really getting all the letters. I can't believe it. We never do that. Well, we sometimes do if we feel like it. There. This must be a day we feel like it. Oh, here's Perry again. This is one of the last levels he appears, so don't get too attached to him. Oh, I was already attached to him. But you don't want to lose him anyway. It's kind of hard to lose him, though, in this particular place. But follow that banana, and you'll be in for some sweet rewards. Yep, they're up here, and you can just do everything you want with them. Perry keeps have... flying his head into the rock wall, oh. but okay. <laughs> and you can get more bear coins, but they don't go over 100, so don't try it. Yeah, you can never get 100. Every time you try it, magically disappears, and you're still at 99. Yeah. Only 99 could fit in your pocket. There, we did the all the Kong letters. Wow. And here's the bonus that Perry was. Yeah, Perry was a bonus. <laughs> you need to get 15 bananas. Unfortunately, some of our footage got cut out because of skipping frames. Yeah, skipping frames. We've always had a problem with that Azzle capture card doing that, so we had to fade out, and we got, like, what, a couple more bananas, but you didn't miss too much, actually. Yeah, this bonus is kind of tricky because of the way those buzzes are flying around and the times and places those bananas appear, but it's not too bad. If you do lose, it makes it look like you have no choice but to quit, but you can actually go back and go back to the halfway point, and then Perry's box will be there, yeah. and you can try again. Perry's box will respawn, so you can go back as far as you want without having to waste a life dying, and it's a little faster that way. Yeah, so or as long as you want to do, that. do the whole level again to get to him. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got to go and save and wait for that chairlift. No, we missed the last one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wonder if chairlifts actually do that. I've never been on one. But if um, they sweep you out behind that, that seems like that would be a hazard. Yeah, it probably would be. And look, she's still playing video games. <laughs> And she still can't figure out that level. <laughs> yeah, she really needs to learn that you can jump into the pictures. It's still the hub world. I know. And Go to Babam Battlefield. And we didn't tell Cranky to stop wasting his money. On yeah, bonus because every time he plays, we get money. So we're just going to keep it under wraps. <laughs> Have you seen Cranky? No. <laughs> oh, that's bad. We're bad. Deceiving our grandma. <laughs> okay. And we see the snow outside that isn't there. And we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's snow outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a snow level in this place. I wonder what they were thinking. <coughs> Are you quite alright? Okay. I am quite alright. Here is the boss, Barbos' barrier. And what is it? <gasps> it's the, a giant lurchin! The queen of all lurchins. Just when you thought lurchins couldn't get any worse, there's a giant one. Um, and yeah, that was me. That's that's how I play. <laughs> She That's just how has two guards that you need to hit with those other lurchins that come out of her. And you just smack them in there, and sometimes they hit her shell. But if they yeah. hit her two guards out of the way, then you can get to what you do with all lurchins. Yeah, just go in when at the over. right time. It's a little easier than lurchins because she gets a little bigger, of course. But just go down, but there is three phases to the battle. So this phase, she'll have these little sea creatures. I don't know the names of them, at least in game. Uh, let's see. Shell okay. missile or something? It says in Super Mario Wiki. Okay. We're endorsing Super Mario Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> so you just go in front of them, they'll lock on to you the last place you were when they stopped flashing. So you want to use that to your advantage. Yeah, but it's it's hard to master sometimes. Oh, he yeah, almost got Yeah, sometimes. He almost got through. You just want to go a roundabout way to get him to kind of stay in one place instead of chasing you and catching you. Yeah, go in that circle and it'll take just about the right time to hit that thing right there. And, and then sometimes Sometimes these last guys come out. You can try to hit Barbos with them. That may make your job a little easier, but... We don't know. It yeah, most of the time work. it doesn't work. So you can just hit her. And then she'll sink down into the final phase of the battle, which can be the hardest if you're not used to it. Especially that. It would probably take most people off guard. Yeah, if you stay right there, you should be safe. 
Mm, King Zing Sting, anyone? I know, that reminds me so much of it. Anyway, she's gonna go down, and that is your choice. Your chance, I meant to say. But, like all bosses, it takes three hits. It's already taken two hits. Well, for the last phase, it takes three hits. So she actually takes five hits. Here comes number two. Wait till she's open. Boom. Bam! Yep, so that's number two. And then she's just gonna keep belching out the spikes. She shoots them out. Yeah, like out of her misses. shell. She doesn't belch them out. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh. Here's the finishing blow. So are you Game all ready? Get ready. No! Oh! <laughs> that was no fair. That can happen sometimes, so we had to redo the whole boss battle. Just make sure that when you're ready for the final blow, just go fast. Before she can do anything. I'll just spit out the bonus coin, and it's yours. But still, don't touch her. Even after that. Yeah, she can kill you after you get that. Whoa, oh, kitty! Kitty, no! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Kitty, no! Do not go swimming where there's whirlpools. And look at this, we're here and... <gasps> oh, Earthquake! The final door has opened. Of course, why couldn't we just jump over that? I don't know. I guess it's too perilous, so... Oh, no. Into the water. Yeah, we're going to... Okay, guys. Up. Next time, we will see you in Chaos Core. The level... Or we'll finish this entire series off uh, in a way. Bye. Bye.